Yo, what's up, peeps? <clears throat> it's been a while. Uh, I figured I'd shoot a video um, of late. Not because I can't sleep if I were, I can go to sleep if I want. Just doing some shit. Um, but yeah, man, just thought I'd shoot a video. Let me adjust this a little bit. It's just, you know, dealing with one thing after another is just <clears throat> always something, you know? You know trying to get the heart good going, you know, working on that, change my diet, change what I do, and then something else, you know, like just always something else, it just never stops, um, you know, I guess that's life, you know, uh, but yeah, I wanted to shoot a video and talk and say what's up and, you know, uh, go from there. But it's different, man. I'm telling you, man. It's it's a different trip, you know. Like after being in the hospital and uh, dealing with, you know, the heart issue and, and still working on it, you know, trying to get it better. Uh, you know, not eating salt. Um, well, that much. I can. I'm only limited to two thousand milligrams a day. Like, dude, it's that's nothing, bro. Like, you can eat that much salt in in like. I don't know, a bag of potato chips, I guess. Um, shit, you can probably eat, I mean, it's it's not a lot. Um, when I um, think about it, I'm just like, oh, shit. Like, It's it's hard, and then like you know, I'm also on a restriction on fluids and how much I can drink, and dude, I'm, it's it's not easy. I'll tell you that much. Um, when um, when I first started, dude, I was like, fuck, I don't know, dude. You know, like fuck, this is gonna be tough, but. Uh, It gets easier, you know. I've been doing it now for a couple of weeks, and you can you never you never get used to not eating food with flavor, you know. You never you never get used to that. It just it is what it is. You just fucking deal with it, you know. Um, I think the biggest meal where where not having salt really affects me is uh, dinner because the the flavor and shit in dinner is just you're just like what the fuck man like you just think about it and you're like fuck damn um you know, you think oh dude I wish I would have a fucking um you know, more flavor, and uh, you just can't, like, you just can't do the salt, you know, and then, my average, like, I average around 16 to 1700 milligrams a day of salt, and, um, that's pretty much it, and then, you know, you just kind of go from there. And, you know, you hope and you, and you pray that it gets easier, but uh, it doesn't. Uh, I miss flavor, dude. Like, I seriously miss flavor. Um, and you didn't, you didn't realize how much salt, fucking, <sighs> salt is huge. And, you know, well, the meds that I'm on, you know, they're not perfect, you know, hopefully... They're fixing what they're supposed to be fixing, but I feel fucking looped out, you know. My vision's all fucking jacked up, you know. Um, it's it's a weird feeling, you know. You um, you try to for oh, you try to you know just get on with the day and go with the day, and 
work on your shit, but it's hard, bro. You know, some days I feel confident and happy in the shit that I'm doing, and other days I'm just like, dude, what if I'm not getting better? You know, what if my heart's not getting better? You know, am I gonna am I gonna be around? You know, am I going to miss out on? things for my for my daughter and, and stuff like that and it's uh it's scary man you know like you, you want to feel normal you want to be normal but you, you you're just in fear you know like you know it's just <clears throat> like they you know they gave me some fucking vest thing to wear in case you know i go unconscious and uh have like some sort of i forget it's not it's like a heart attack but it's not a heart attack because my heart's not pumping as strong and, um, you know, you're, I'm supposed to wear it all the time and all this shit, but like, <clears throat> I, I don't know if they, you know, the, the, it's a medical industry, so I don't know if they want me to wear it because I absolutely need it or if they want me to wear it just because they're fucking, they're charging my fucking insurance for it every month. Like I have to return this motherfucker eventually and I'm only supposed to have it two to three months because but then they'll know like if my heart is is beating better like if it's if it's better then i don't need it and if it's not better they want to like install like a defibrillator in my fucking body like an actual defibrillator and i'm just like i don't know dude like fuck you know it is what it is but fuck it's just that's why like things are just scary like you know you want to be better i feel better than i have in a long time but that doesn't mean fucking shit you know that doesn't mean that i am better um but you know, you 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 have to deal with this shit, and uh, you know, high blood pressure fucked my shit up. Like it, it fucked me up. Like no joke. Like I I did not know. I didn't know fucking how bad high blood pressure. I just was like ah whatever you know, and then um, you go with it and. Find out it can jack up your kidneys, your fucking, you know, your prostate, all this shit. Like, you're just like, fuck, okay, well, all right. Go from there and, um, it's, it's a trip, dude. Like, you just, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain, like. You know, I I found out that I had hella fluid in my body. Fucking, I mean, I lost like forty pounds, dude, in in a week just in getting rid of the fluid. Um, it's it's been it's been hard, you know, and I'm blessed with a wonderful girlfriend. Like uh, my my girl is is amazing, dude. Like if she, you know. If I didn't have her in my life helping me out, doing the things that she's doing, I would, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know exactly what I would do. But I have her, and, um, you know, she helps me out with everything. And it's it's pretty amazing, you know, all the things that she does. Uh, but sometimes you still feel fucking you still feel um, nervous you still feel scared um, you just you know you go from there Anyways, uh, I don't want to sit here and, you know, but you feel a lot more vulnerable when you go through shit like this and uh, you don't want to, but you do. And uh, any, any little thing that's going on with you, you fucking get nervous about, like in, like when indigestion happens and I feel my pulse in going up a little bit, I'm just like, oh shit, dude, what's wrong? Um, 
things like that, you know. So, yeah, it's it's a trip, you know. You, you hope you hope you can do better, and you go from there, and you know you you just hope things get better. That's just how life is, you know. And uh, you know, see how it is. But anyways, that's it for tonight. Uh, I'll try. I'll try to talk to you guys more. I'm distracted doing something. But you know, have a good night and you know, stay on top of your health. No one else will. <laughs>